everybody welcome back to the channel today is january 23rd sunday and i am doing the single seed challenge that uh, scott head the black gumbo over there has put out uh the challenge for a couple years this will be my first time doing it anyhow i wanted to uh show you what i'm doing here and so i've got a i had a decision so i don't even know if this is legal but i'm going to do two seeds two single seeds so it still says single seed right it's two single seeds <laughs> I'm going to do two single seeds, and one of them is um, a seed that, let me, it's got a story that I got to tell with it, you know, the, because a lot of times, you know, in the question of can you save seeds from a uh, hybrid plant, you know, you go to Lowe's or Walmart or whatever and buy a plant, well, that's exactly what I did, man, it's been, I'm not, I'm going to say at least 15 years ago, probably closer to 17 years ago, bought this plant. Uh, it's a, it said Chili Red is what it said on there. Just a nice little, in fact, I got the plant over there. I'm going to, it's growing right now. The seed, the, I got a chili that is growing and I'm going to take a seed out of that chili. But anyhow, I bought a plant and it was obviously a hybrid plant and it was a really good chili pepper. Um, we, I love making salsa. I grow, love growing tomatoes and making salsa out of that and so i made uh made salsa out of these and these were good to eat along with your um you know you eating tacos just take a bite you know take take a bite take a bite of taco take a bite of the chili take a, two bites of the taco sometimes because it gets kind of hot but kind of it's pretty spicy um but anyhow so i um saved the seeds from that chili pepper you know quite a few seeds and um planted them the next year i'm just i've all ever since i was a kid i always loved saving my own seeds and um gardening planting it's just something about that makes me i just love seeing that cycle happen saving my own seeds and anyhow they were hybrid seeds and the next year when i planted those out i planted like a row of them you know started them inside and then planted them out in the garden that's when we were living in michigan so quite a few years ago probably i'm gonna say about 17 years ago maybe 16 16 anyhow um so i planted them the next year and in that row all of those chili peppers grew really good all of those plants grew really good some of them really grew tall some of them grew short it was kind of weird and then when they matured i got four different types of peppers now one of them looked like the chili pepper that i you know saved the seeds from and one of them was like a big big long yellow banana pepper had no heat in it was not hot at all um and then another one was just a green pepper and i i really can't even remember what the fourth one i just remember that there was four different types one of them was another big red one but it was a bigger uh size one so anyhow but the ones that i liked was these little chilies pep chili peppers and I've got one over here on this plant that I've saved through the winter, and I'm going to take you over here and show you. But anyhow, so so from those chili red peppers that I saved, now I've, I didn't save any of the other three because I didn't like them. So I saved these little chili peppers, and every year I grow these and save the seeds. So these are, in my family, a kind of like an heirloom seed i know it technically is not an heirloom seed but for me it'll be an heirloom that i'll pass down to my kids and grandkids and the story of it i think is so cool um so anyhow i'm going to take you over there and show you this plant and the plant looks pitiful it's january 23rd um and i got it in here in the greenhouse it was in a pot i never did plant this pot this one in the out in the garden it was just in a pot it's kind of a pitiful plant but it's it's got the seed for what i'm doing today so let me show you what that what i got over here okay there it is right there i got one and it's smaller than normal it normally would like i said this plant's puny uh not a very excellent plant right now and but i got one that's ripe overly ripe possibly <laughs> you see there's a water drip dropping off the bottom i just watered all this bed in here but anyhow that red one there that's the one i'm going to take and I'm going to get the seeds out of that. So let me see here. Also, let me go. I got it marked as chili red. Get over here and see if I can just pick it with one hand here. 
Okay, so I got another one. Look at that. Turn, whoops. Turn red, I had to prop it up because it was so pitiful. But yeah, so I got another one growing there. But anyhow, that's the one I'm gonna save, save right there. Okay, so that is the chili pepper right there that I'm gonna take the seed from. And to get to the seeds, I'm just gonna take a and bite into it and show you the seeds. Yeah, that's a spicy one. Anyhow, the seeds are down in there. When I open this thing up, might not have been the best choice to do that. <clears throat> I might have to go get a drink of water. <laughs> Anyhow, that is the chili pepper that I'm going to get the seeds out of for the seed, single seed. Obviously, I'll save the rest of the seeds, but I'm going to get the seed out of that and plant it right here in front of your eyes. Okay, first I went ahead and made up a label, a label for it. I put chili red ssc for a single seed challenge and the date so I'll lay that there with the seed and i'm gonna go ahead and just kind of cut this in half so i can expose the seeds wow this one doesn't have very many seeds in it look at that Get a, knock a few of them out of there. Okay. Probably not very many seeds because it's in the greenhouse and it might not have gotten um, pollinated very well. So maybe this isn't going to be a good choice. Man, I've only got... Just a couple good looking seeds. We got one, two, three, four. Mm, that one doesn't look very good. So I really only got four decent looking seeds right there. That's crazy. I usually get like 50 seeds out of these. So, so that's the seeds. I'm gonna, let me get a pot ready real quick. Okay, so I've got the seeds here. I'm going to choose this seed right here. I'm going to pick it up with the tip of my... Oh, that's two seeds. That, that would have been cheating, wouldn't it? <laughs> Let's see if I can, can just knock that off. Come on. I don't know why it's sticking together. Okay. It's Siamese twins. <laughs> so, all right, let me poke, grab a hold of that. Just want to... All right, so now I'm just going to take that seed, put it right there in the middle, kind of poke it down, yeah, do it so you can see it here, poke it down just a little bit, then kind of cover it up. That's all. That's all I need to cover it up, just a tiny bit. Okay, so the second single seed I am doing here is a pink swirl, and I, I have have it listed as ps1 which means pink swirl first generation because i have i've planted these things for s several years and each year they change slightly so anyhow this is the first generation out of the very first pink swirl plant that i bought i bought the pink swirl it's a hearty hibiscus it's not quite a dinner plate hibiscus it's like a six inch um flower and the, but they're just beautiful and it's kind of like it was my entry into getting the dinner plate hibiscus and it's kind of it's not my favorite anymore because i there's other that's kind of replaced it but it's kind of got that place to where it was it was my first one and i wanted to kind of take that at, and grow it i know what they look like when i grow them and um i've saved seeds from other varieties of dinner plate hibiscus and I don't know what some of those look like, but this year I do, and I really like them, and I just thought it'd be a good one to uh, grow a uh, single seed from this. So I've got a whole package, of, actually I have several packages like this in there of these seeds. Okay, let me bring you down to where you can see 
what they look like. If you've not seen, oh wow, I see some some holes in them. So if you if you see, whoops, if you see your hibiscus seeds and they have like a little hole in the end, that means aphids have got in there. So I got some bad seeds here. I'm gonna have to be really careful about. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but there's some of those that have like little holes in the end of them. So. I'm gonna have to set these down and really sort through and find me a good seed. Okay, so I found one seed. Well, there's probably a lot more, but I found, I grabbed, chose one seed out of here. I'm gonna just drop it in the, drop it right in there. Let me kind of slide it over towards the middle a little bit more, kind of push it down, cover it in, and that's it. So let me, I'm going to put that label with that just so I always like keeping my labels with them really quick because it's so easy to get them mixed up. So I'm going to go and grab the hose. Okay, so I grabbed the hose. I'm going to water these in, but I grabbed the, uh, the chili red and brought it back over here so I can water them both at the same time. And you can see it's already starting to build up humidity in that humidity dome, which is a power aid. Uh, zero bottle that I cut. So anyhow, let me go ahead and kind of water these in. I'm going to water them in really good because that my uh, seed starting mix kind of has dried out. In fact, I should kind of put some water in there a little bit so it doesn't dry out. It dries out out here in the greenhouse. But anyhow, so I got the chili red right there. Just checking to make sure I didn't wash it to the top. That's all that matters. So yeah, that's, that is that. And then I'll put my humidity domes on these. Put that label back there with it. So I don't lose track of what we got. Okay, so I got those seeds planted and put in the pots, humidity domes put on them. And now I'm gonna take them inside to the, uh, I got a little couple little shelves set up in there with some heat mats and some lights and uh, so I'm gonna put those on heat mats and I'll, I'll just take you in there and talk about that. Let's just go. Before we go in, hey, check out this um, tropical hibiscus that's bloomed. It bloomed yesterday and it's still blooming today. I don't know how long they bloom. I know that the hardy hibiscus, each flower only blooms one day basically. So there it is. Okay, right over here is where I've got my heat mats. I got two of them. I don't know if you can see right there. There's there's one, there's here's the other one. So somebody's gonna have to give up their spot because, yep, afraid so. <laughs> Did you, you hear Dub back in the background? No. <laughs> so, I don't know. I think, I think this one here is just gonna have to move over here. If I recall, this morning, Pastor Doug said something about drawing the line in the sand and you don't give up your territory. <laughs> you need to go review that sermon. So this was originally my territory. I'm taking it back. No. Yeah. Why? Taking back what the devil stole from me. Listen here. <laughs> are you calling me the devil? See, it won't fit. It won't fit. But I got a remedy for that. Yep. Put my back. <laughs> um. No, you bad. You bad. That's what our little granddaughter says. Uh, okay, let's see if this works. Whoa. No, it doesn't fit either. We just raised these shelves up, actually, yesterday. Man, it's so close. I'm going to cut a little bit more off of this. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Spare room. Let me get this other one here. Oh, yeah. I'm going to shut this red light off because that makes it awkward looking. Oh, yeah. So that looks, that's better. I got plenty of room now. And I got them watered in a little bit. And they're going to go ahead and sprout here in a few days. So we'll have to check back here in just a few days whenever they start to sprout. Well, I don't know how many days it will be. But, uh, but that is it. Okay, so that is my two single seeds challenge <laughs> how do you say that right so anyhow that's my single seed challenge and i challenge you to do that same thing you got plenty of time pick out a seed 
um, and do a little video and post it, put the hashtag single seed challenge and, uh, <clears throat> we'll check we'll we'll check up on those hashtags and check each other's videos out and so anyhow this is it and i just want to say oh brown this is brown thumb nursery but i really oh did i get my thumb brown no i packed a little bit of dirt in <laughs> uh i didn't really get my thumbs brown but it's sunday that's okay <clears throat> but anyhow just uh, get out there, get your thumbs brown, play in the dirt, have some fun, propagate something, grow some seeds. And uh, thank you for hanging out with me, and I'll catch you on the south side. God bless. Mm -hmm.